Hello, I'm Isis Dude. My first tip for anybody that wants to go to cons, don't. <laughs> Kidding. Whether you are going in casual or cosplay, there are many ways to enjoy the con, so please enjoy these essential con tips. Let's get started. Let's go. Who am I? I am Wisest Dude, and I have been cosplaying for 10 years and attending conventions for 15 years since I was a child. My first convention tip is always for the con you want to go on the social media channels, so their Instagram, their Facebook, their Twitter, all that kind of thing. It will give you updates about the con's activities and guests. This can also be accessed on the con's website. This will be constantly updated with new stuff to the con is on. What's the website to especially when it comes to information like the weapon policy with cosplay and cosplay policies and all that kind of thing if you're cosplaying as well as other general information so always good to do that and also look out for the con map which is our next tip my next tip is study the con map. Con maps tend to be released a few days before con, so keep a watch out for that on the social medias and the website. And then you will look at the con map and decide what you want to do. So the con map has the schedule, so what time the guests will be doing their panels, doing the signings, all that kind of thing. Same with the activities, um, any other panels like the cosplay panels, anime panels, like there's a variety of things to check out at the con. You can also take a note of the food options, where the toilets are at, all that kind of thing. And the best thing about con maps is that it's always handy so keep a pdf file keep a file of that on your phone so yeah um, it's perfect for cons that do not provide maps in paper form because a lot of cons don't hand out maps anymore when you go visit them if you don't accomplish everything you plan out to do that's fine Cons tend to be busy, hectic, but in a good way. So I find have a um, idea of what you want to do and go with the flow. With food and beverages, it's up to you personally. I take a water bottle with me or I grab a bottle of water from a vending machine. Some cons have them or from the cafes well the convention hall it's up to you remember to stay hydrated there will be a lot of walking and exercising on the con day regardless of if you are in cosplay or casual so remember to stay hydrated with food it's up to you i personally make it a habit to eat before midday, like 11 a.m., maybe a bit earlier. That's when the uh, food lines tend to be shorter, at least at my cons, the cons I go to. So I would say 11 a.m., 2 p.m. to grab food. It's up to you. At worst, you can always venture out of the con. There's usually restaurants around the convention centers outside so whether you're in cosplay or not you know go have some fancy dinner then come back and enjoy the con i do that occasionally these next tips are for the cosplayers for cosplayers 
Remember, guys, please look at the con guide, Strass con map, and see if the convention has a repair station. Repair stations are amazing, cosplay repair stations. They usually have a sewing person, armor person, and they will have everything on in hand. Like they will have all the materials, they will have hairspray, super glue, all that kind of thing. In saying that, if you feel like something's going to break or worry about something breaking, like a prop, bring extra surprise with you. Like you can bring super glue in your bag, all that kind of thing. And same with wigs, you can bring hairpins, extra hairpins, and all that kind of thing. Hairspray, I wouldn't bring hairspray, that might leak, but that's up to you. Also, with the cosplayers, it's up to you if you want to bring a change of clothing, but personally, I would. It might be a bit harder for those that go in armor and all that kind of thing, but if you have a hotel room, or you have an um, extra baggage person, or car, or you're just wearing cosplay that's light so you can carry your own bags, remember to carry some spare clothes. Because, to be honest, you will get to a part of the day where you just want to strip. You want to strip out your wig, out your cosplay into something more comfortable, and maybe... Go get some con dinner, you know? So I suggest always bring a change of clothes. And things like cars, um, hotel rooms, they're great for storing extra surprise and all that kind of thing. If they're too big to carry or you feel uncomfortable carrying them to the con. So it's always good to be prepared as a cosplayer. Cosplay not consent is simple. You have to ask a cosplayer's permission before taking a photo with them. That also applies to touching too. So if you want to give a cosplayer a hug, you have to ask permission. It's simple. Please for cosplay not consent. So everybody can have a good time. Those are my con tips. I hope you found them useful. If you got any tips you want to share with people, please comment on this video. Anyway, if you like this video, please press on subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much. I hope to see you next time. Stay wise. Two thumbs up.